Hello, my name is Raido Boost and in this video I will give a short overview about additional content package for AutoCAD Civil 3D. This additional content package is meant for pressure network design using additional plastic pipe components. Those plastic pipe components are divided into different groups, for example based on its type. I can clearly see that in this simple example I have an elbow that belongs into electrofusion type and also an elbow that belongs into butt welded group. Those fittings and pipes can be also combined with each other. I also want to pay attention to that all pipes and fittings to have their respective inside and outside diameters. And this information is based on manufacturer data sheets. This content package also have some components like hydrants and valves that can be used in plastic piping design. But also I can use some other content because this content package also includes stub ends that can be used to connect with cast iron piping or using some component that needs to be connected as flanged using flange connectors. I can also draw a curved piping. It means that this content package have some predefined curvatures. When it comes to labeling my design, I can see that when I do use different pipes from different pressure classes, I can clearly note those differences with my label stylings. Those label stylings you need to make yourself, but all data from that content package is already available. For example, when I look at this pipe, I pick it and from a ribbon I will click pressure pipe properties. I will see that this pipe do belong into STR21 pressure class and it includes inside and outside diameter as noted at the manufacturer data sheet. In addition to SDR class, I also see that when a strength class of PE100 is used, then pressure class is 8 bars. All that data comes from that content package, and therefore I can easily add or combine that information into my label. I can also pick a fitting. For example, this elbow from a ribbon, I pick a fitting properties, and I can see that also my fitting do have that additional data that can be used for labeling or for quantity takeoff. All fittings can be combined with a pay item description. For example, in this file I have already done it. When I pick a SDR11 putt welded styling, right click and edit, then I can see that for all fittings, appurtenances and pressure pipes, I do have a pay item description. So with additional content package installation, also a pay item description file is included. This description file includes all the content that can be used with that package. But of course, you can change pay item description and the value if you want to. More important is that this file is already created and to carry out some changes shouldn't be difficult. I cancel this dialog. Let's now have a look how to start your new design based on this additional content package set is already installed into a system. With a installation you will see a sample DWG file that includes some example parts lists. But of course you can change those or start from an empty drawing. Just remember that this setup should be done only once and later on you can include all that styling into a template file. So I do have a new drawing. I can see that this is based on standard civil 3D template. It means that when I look to pressure network section and parts lists, it includes standard and water styling. I don't want to use those, but I do want to create one from a new content package. So right click and new. I can see a dialog that enables me to include a name for my new style, for example SDR21. I can add a description as usual. I will move on to pressure pipes. Right click new pass list, add material and I can now see that from that database I can pick content based on pressure class. I can pick SDR21. PE is a simple notation that this content package includes only plastic pipes or 
plastic fittings. OK. Now I click on this SDR21 and right click PE SDR21 add size. And I want to include all pipe sizes that are available in this pressure class. OK. Now I click on this plus symbol and I will see which pipes are available in this pressure class. I can also now add a pay item description. I can click on this icon in pay item column. I may get a warning that my pay item list is not loaded. Once I load it from my installed path, I can start picking my pay item data. So I will load it, pay item file, open and Civil 3D pipes, PE, OK. And now I see a list of pay item descriptions and also IDs. Those IDs and description can be easily changed if you have some other standard. More important is that this additional content package and this pay item list includes already all descriptions components. I can of course search what kind of description I want to add. SDR21. I can now say that for that particular pipe pressure class I have a pay item ID starting with 61107. I can filter later on with that particular ID and now I will include DN40. Of course I need to do it with all pipes and with all fittings and appurtenances but once again I need to do it only once because later on I can already use my template file. I will now move on to fittings tab. New parts list right click add type and from here I can see that uh, not all fittings are included in all pressure classes because this information once again is based on manufactured data sheets but uh, I can combine those fittings with each other from different pressure classes if needed and when using also pay item descriptions in my takeoff reports I can clearly see that I need different pressure class fittings for my design and for a project. I will concentrate on PE SDR21 and pick elbow T and reducer. OK. And of course I need to add sizes. Right click and add size. Add all sizes. OK. T. Add size. Add all sizes. And reducer. Add size and add all sizes. I can click on that plus icon and I can see which kind of content I do have in that particular group. Of course if I don't want something to see and use then I can delete using shift or control keys. Right click and delete. In that way I can perhaps create more meaningful parts lists that are used for some particular design or project. In terms of fittings I also need to add a pay item description from that same file I showed with pressure pipes but I will skip it here and I go to appurtenances tab new parts list add type and from here I can see that also I do have valve and hydrant sections in that additional content package so those fittings or valves and hydrants belong to different pressure class as I said before, I can combine different components from different pressure class. And for example, if I do have plans to create also SDR11 and SDR17 parts lists, then no need to add those components into my SDR21 list, because I can combine later on during design. That's why I will leave from this dialog console. I will apply and OK. OK, we do have now a new styling, or let's say parts list. Now I will show you how to use it. Of course, if you have used some Civil 3D default contents, there is no difference. But let's say using this content package, you have some extra possibilities. So let's have a look. To start with a new design, I will use home and pipe network and then pressure network creation tools. I can pick now my parts list, for example, SDR21. Of course, I can follow a surface, but in this simple example, I don't have it. So that's why it's grayed out. And now, OK. From a ribbon, I now see all Civil 3D tools that can be used for pressure network design. I can see that SDR21 is already picked. I can also see a list of pipe diameters from here. I can see a list of fittings from here, different fittings that can be used. And if I want to create a design, I will 
probably start with a new pipe. So for example I will pick a DN110. I will check that pipes and pens is chosen and then I start with a new design. I will pick a start point, zoom it a little bit so that my design can be easily followed. Okay, I will pick a next point and now I see that uh, based on fittings and uh, available fittings that are included in this additional content package, I can pick an angle. For example, I can pick a 45 degree angle or 30 or maybe 90. I will continue with some simple pipe layout. And once done, I will hit an escape key. I will see here that my current pipe styling use centerline option. So I don't see any pipe outside or inside lines. I can easily change it, but before that I will save my drawing. I pick a pipe and if I want to change a style, right click and edit pressure pipe style. And I will open up inside pipe walls and outside pipe Falls component. Apply and OK. And I will do it also with fittings. Pick a fitting, right click and edit fitting style. And at plan section I will use display as catalog defined block. Apply and OK. From this simple example I can see now that I do have pipe inside and outside lines, meaning that I can also include this data into my labeling as shown before. But in this simple example I will show you what kind of design you can carry on using Civit 3D tools. For example, I will pick a T as a new fitting and let it be 110 and 90 degrees. I click on add fitting and I will include it onto my design, for example into here. I can also continue with my design in 3D view and of course I can change a visual style. I can continue with my pipe clicking on this fitting and starting from this fitting endpoint. I can also draw a bended pipe. For that I can see from a command line that I have an option curve. I click on it and now I see that I get an additional information about what is the minimum radius for that particular pipe. It means that when I use less than this radius I can use civil 3D tools to check violations. So in this example I need to be less than 5.5 meters and then the design is okay. Second click. I can also create vertical design. For example, I will add an elbow 110 and for example 90 degrees. Add fitting and click on this pipe end. So the fittings type is hot welded and in addition to that, so the fittings, why they look so large or big are because they are segmented based on manufactured data sheets. When using electrofusion fittings, those are much smaller smaller and compact. As I said before, those can be used also with different pressure classes. But in this example, let's continue with a vertical design. For that, it means that I need to rotate this elbow. I will change my visual style because in that way I can more easily see rotation grip that can be used to turn this elbow. This is a circular type of grip that can be used to rotate this fitting. I will click on it and then I will rotate it so that it points up. After that I can continue with a vertical pipe using this grip. Just as in this simple example I can use all those fittings in my design and later on I can create a quantity takeoff tables. Because in this example I don't have pay items for all my components, I will go back to my first example. In this example I would like to remind that I do have different pipes that have different pressure class. As said before, for example in here, if I look at it from a top view and using a 2D wireframe style, from here I can also see that I do have different wall thickness visible. If I now want to create a quantity takeoff table, then I go to my Analyze tab and then QTO section, I can use a tool called Takeoff. Click on that. Of course, I can now filter out what I would like to report. In this simple example, I will carry on an overall report, meaning that I just click on Compute button. After that, I get an initial view about my quantity takeoff report. This information can be displayed differently 
using a selection list down below. For example, I will pick summary HTML. Now I can conclude that I do have a quantity takeoff report based on my pressure classes. For example, I have here DN110 pipe that belongs into SDR17 and a separate quantity when compared with TN110 and SDR11. And because those components do have a separate pay item description, that's why I can create the design with different pressure classes and also include that information into my reports. And when it comes to fittings, then also fittings are summed up based on pressure class and its type. This description comes from quantity takeoff description file. Those descriptions can be easily changed. I can also include this report into my drawing using a draw button. And thereafter, I will include it into my drawing. I can close this dialog and also a compute quantity takeoff dialog. With that, I would like to conclude this short video about new content that is meant for pressure network design when plastic pipes are needed.